And welcome to Let's Fly VFR. Today we're going to do some DCS action and take the F-15 for a run out over both the Caucasus and the Middle East. So let's get to it. So here we are in the F-15C. We'll get this thing cranked up and we will get ourselves out and in the air. Checking the lights are on. Canopy's open still. We've got the power on. Engines are now coming up. The left one's starting up there. You can just see the engine gauges coming, coming around. This is part of the Flaming Cliffs series, guys, if you haven't done any DCS before. These are relatively simple to uh, operate, if you like, as far as the controls, everything. There's no really any clickable contacts, uh, clickable switches or anything in here. So it's all just keyboard. So let's get ourselves sort of taxied out of the uh, the hangar. Now it's a fair old taxi, so I'm not going to make you suffer through all of that, but it's a fair way down. And this is fairly common because that's what you have to do if you're flying in a fighter. You have to taxi it to the runway. So we're heading out to runway 13, which is way down to the left. So we'll get ourselves out. But isn't the scenery really great? The textures within DCS are just awesome. So if you're unfamiliar, we've got the HUD up there in the middle. That'll give us our navigation and where we're going and our targeting. Down the left on the top there, the square one, that's the radar. If you haven't uh, had any experience in fighters before, guys. And the one below there is showing your weapons. And the circular one that was on the right there, that was showing where your threats are. So if it's on the top, it's in front of you, it's at the bottom behind you if it's over on the right it'll be to your right and on the left as well so get all the flight controls tested get the flaps down he's a real beast this f-15 boy it's got some power so we'll taxi down so this is uh, one of the the maps that's available with f with uh, dcs there's a whole range of airports that you can, uh, or air bases you can taxi out of and go flying. This one we're just doing against AI, so we're just getting a little bit of practice since I've uh, just got into flying the F-15. We'll taxi him out, line him up. Now my takeoffs haven't been that good as yet. You've got to be very careful on the rudders and the steering, otherwise you get the wobbles up like that. We'll get ourselves up and into the air. Fortunately, my landings are getting better than my takeoffs. Gear up, flaps up as we head out. There's a whole range of skins available as well, guys, uh, on the website. So you can go if you want to change it and you want a bit of blue some air superiority colors there's a whole range of ones out there that people have made it's pretty good okay so here we are this is over the Caucasus map actually so we're doing one-on-one -on -one guns only against uh, AI the biggest thing with finding is finding the damn things just seeing them okay so he's really close merges he's right right there with us somewhere And there he goes. So we'll turn hard. So immediately stalled it by pulling the stick too hard. Now it doesn't matter how fast you're going. If you pull, if your angle of attack's too high, the thing will just fall out of the sky, guys. So you got to be, you know, you're just dumb. It's dumb flying. It's something I've got to learn to do better. It's not about pulling the G's. It's about maintaining power and speed. Your best turn rate is when you're at a set given power setting and you're turning without losing speed. Yeah. I'm still working out some buttons on the joystick on that one. That's why the gun fired. But there he is. What I'm finding is turning back into him. If I find him on the left turning into me, I will turn back towards him. And that seems to help me get him to overshoot a lot quicker and then get him in front of me. He's back over to the right. 
A lot of these ones like to zoom climb and then come back down on top of you as well. So I'm just trying to turn with him. There he is out in front. So not through any probably great planning. He's out the front. So we'll chase him. Use the huge power of the F-15's engines to get us up close. Now the one thing I haven't got is got him locked up here, so I'm just doing this manually. So using a lot more rounds than I should be. Trying to get this kill. Get the nose down, following him, he's heading low. It's like like using a hose, it's pretty much sloppy guns, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, we're getting close now, there we go. Smoke a hole in the sky. Alright, that was one down, that wasn't very good, was it? So we'll give it another go. So he's cold, so he's not pointing in towards us, so we need to find him as quickly as we can because we have something of an advantage at the moment. We can get hot, which is pointing towards him. So he's only six miles at uh, 15,000, and he's over to the left there, as you can see on the threat indicator. All the roars. So, now I'm just using the mouse to look around. So... Hopefully it's not too jittery. So we got getting a little bit close to him. Now it's taking a little while to find him. We're probably flying around each other, but I got him locked up now, so this is gonna make it a lot easier. So we're merging pretty quickly. And there's a burner's coming in. So we're together. If you're in AWAX, the two dots become one. Okay, here he comes. Oh, I missed him on the way through. And made the same mistake again. Pulling too hard, too quickly on that joystick. You've got to keep the airflow steady over the wings to make yourself turn. If you get your angle of attack too high, it just all breaks up and you become a big air brake. So we're pulling reasonable G's now and getting around after him, but I've lost sight of him. He's over to our left, so we'll turn left and then look for him, keep looking. Just keep looking back over your shoulder. There he is, there he is, he's just come in there. Now he's turning right near to us, so I'm going to continue to turn right for a moment. Now he's accelerating really well, so I'm going to reverse my turn and go back the other way and try and push him past me. Here that he's locked me up, so I'll keep pulling. Turning a lot better now. I've lost him again. It's all about keeping eyes on your target, guys. Can't see him behind me. I, my guess is zoom climbed. There he is. He's just coming in on the long horizon behind me. So we need to get turned. We've got speed. There he is again. So, so we're both turning right and he's picking up on me. So again, I'm going to do what I've, I've found successful so far is turning back turning and then turning back again. So that's allowed him to overshoot me again and get him in front. But I've lost all my speed again, so I need to plug those burners in. This thing does chew a lot of juice, so you've got to be conscious. It's no good taking it home, but you don't get home if you've got no fuel left, so that's important to remember. 
there he is again. I guess as he zoom climbed up and has come back down and try to get behind me. You see guys, uh, the other guys out there like um, Hellringer 8 and uh, Growling Sidewinder, a couple of other guys that do some really fantastic videos out there as well on in DCS. If you're looking to learn, that's a good place to go. Go see those guys and have, watch some of their videos. So I've nearly got that stalled. I think I'm in a bit low level. I have to say I don't like the way that distorts when you're looking around from that central pivot point. There we have we got him locked up again. And remember if you're, if you're new to the channel, please feel free to Bingo subscribe. Fuel. Great to have you on board. We're doing both DCS and X Plane 11. Been on X Plane 11 for quite a long time. But now we're doing a little bit of DCS just to give us a bit of a change as well. Got him locked up. Let's see if we can't get him. We're going to get that circle over the square and then we should get some hits. Here we go. Got a few hits on him there. You can see on the left. He's not smoking yet, but we're behind him, which is the main thing. Power up, get those burners running. Trying to climb again, which is not going to, not a very smart thing to do because it allows us to catch up to him. A few more hits. Remember, it takes time for the rounds to get there. There we go. Smoking hole in the sky. So that's number two. Learned a lot from that really have um, especially the handling and the airspeed um, I think the next flight out will be a lot better but I think we better get home we're already getting low on fuel so let's get ourselves back to what is it Aldahar or something it is does she look magnificent those flares out. A bit of high alpha for you. Okay, heading in and the runway is just ahead of us so we're nearly home. So we're just a little quick at about 160 recommend it's 150 knots but was I've crashed a couple of times coming in here trying to get this on the ground undercarriage is quite narrow I've watched F-15s do this a lot so this is aero braking just on your mains hold the nose up and that big wing will just slow you down so I hope you enjoyed a little bit of air combat and a shout out to Grayling Side Winder and Hellringer 88 who do some great videos as I've said previously so we'll slow down and we'll clean her up and we'll take her back to the hangar. And certainly a big thanks to Eagle Dynamics for Korea and this fantastic flight simulator. And I will catch you guys again real soon as we taxi back in. Scenery is just magnificent. The quality of, uh, of the Texas is just awesome. We'll get ourselves back there. So you can go back in, rearm, and out you go again if you're going to fly online, which is also something that will be happening real soon on this channel. Go and get ourselves killed, most likely, with those who know much better, much more than us about uh, flying this thing. So yeah, X-Plane 11 and DCS staying on this channel. And again, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free. Great to have you on board. Heading towards a thousand. Uh, subscribers at this point looking forward to hit that uh, milestone it just looks nasty doesn't it, it just looks nasty we'll see you back here again let's fly vfr again real soon catch you again then bye